My name's Dale. I am from Perth in Western Australia, Australia, and I'm the director of the Australian branch of Alima, a migration agent based over there. Um, so in Australia, I'm a psychologist and I work in the mental health field and my husband is from Nepal. And so I work with a lot of international students who we were finding were struggling to adjust to Australia. So I spoke with my husband and I said that I didn't like the way the companies were handling uh, students that were wanting to move to Australia to study. So I formed a business that's based very similar to my mental health business that I have in Perth. And we came up with the name A Little Education Migration Agency and together that spells Alima. And it, the basis was our family is ready to help your family. We're going to treat every student that comes through our door as part of our family and be able to give them the best service that they need. You're right, there is so many education consultancies, not only here in Kathmandu, but in Perth as well and in Australia. It's not a new business, they're everywhere. Alima is different because our goal is simply to make sure that the students' needs are the ones that are put first. Sometimes that might not mean that's the best financial decision for us. Uh, we get a lot of students coming in and saying, my brother told me I want to go here, so I should study accounting. And they get to Australia and they don't want to be accountants. They don't understand the course. They don't understand what it is that they want to do. And as a psychologist, that's where I came in. I had people wanting to change colleges, people suffering from depression, people suffering from homesickness and not understanding. So our goal is that we make sure the needs are met from the very beginning and we take the time to make sure that each student that walks through our doors is getting personalised service and we can provide from start to finish. Also when they arrive in Australia, we make sure that if they're having trouble adjusting, that we can put them in help with someone that needs what they need. We can't guarantee um, that they'll do well at their studies. We can't guarantee that they're going to pass everything. But what we do is make sure that they've got support there. So we don't, we're not in it just to make sure we get you signed off and get your dollar. We want to make sure everyone gets put in their right place, what they need. We do. We're a very new um, business, so we've only just started to build up all of our affiliations. At the moment, we have contracts with and affiliations with, I believe, five or six different places in Perth. And we are also working with a different consulting agency to make sure if one of those colleges isn't best with, for our students, we'll put the student with who they need. So together with our resources, we can access almost any university or college in Australia. We can do all visas that are each person's eligible for. Our predominant area is working with students who are wanting to go abroad. But tourist visas, um, if someone, parents want to join their children in Australia who have become citizens over there, uh, if someone's wanting to go and work abroad, they're all visas that we can explore. So like I said, we're a very new company. So the education fair is just to bring awareness to our company and what we have offer. We have a number of colleges who are coming um, to present information on their courses that they have in Australia. And we're going to have um, lots of information available for anyone who's looking at going and studying abroad. So it's a basically a one stop for people who need the information on what to do next and whether they're starting to think about going for next semester or next year or they're finishing their class 12 next year and wanting to go past that it's just that starting spot that they can start to get that information about studying abroad just to give them their options um, it can be quite overwhelming if they don't know um, what they need to do. There's a lot of requirements when it comes to finances, education requirements, IELTS scores, PTE scores, and it can get quite confusing. So we want to take all that confusion away and make students just understand that if they just come and have a chat with us, our team's goal is to make sure that we help uh, make it easier, not so stressful.
The biggest issue is, sorry, two things. One is cross-cultural adjustment. Australia looks like a, a lovely country, and it is, but people aren't aware that um, how big it is, um, how isolating it can be. And they might move to Sydney thinking that they're going to be close to their family, who, to their friend who lives in Melbourne and it's a three hour flight away. So uh, it's awareness of where they're going. So we want to make sure that they have all of those answers beforehand um, and they're ready to adjust to that culture when they get there. But the biggest issue that we find is for students when they get to study abroad, they can feel homesick and they don't know who to talk to. They don't know that they can talk to their friends. They might be feeling feelings of depression and sadness and not feel comfortable telling someone about it. Or if they're not passing their studies, um, they might not feel comfortable or they might feel ashamed to tell someone. So our goal is to make sure that when they are in Australia, they know that they can come and talk to us uh, and we can make sure that they have the support that they need. It's very much a reality and it's very much possible, but it does require hard work. Uh, the cost of living is much more expensive in Australia than it is here. I'm not going to lie and say it's very cheap, but also you can earn more money. Um, and it's, it is a big adjustment. So people go with an attitude of what they want to do and they might not want to work as a cleaner or in a kitchen or something like that. But these jobs pay a lot of money in Australia. So it's working with um, making sure that you put in connection with your local social group. And there's lots of Nepalese communities in Australia that we can help put you in connection with. So it's very much achievable to uh, have this bright, beautiful, lovely Aussie life. But like anything, you do have to work hard. You have to make sure you study, you have to make sure you pass, you have to make sure you socialise, and you have to work to pay your bills. For the education fair, yes, it's this Saturday at Embassy Restaurant opposite Japanese Embassy in Lazenpart. And it is at 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock on Saturday, the 10th of December. Yeah, no, no, no entrance fee. Um, and there's lots of giveaways and prizes that are available. Everyone that comes gets a hundred dollar, sorry, hundred rupee um, recharge voucher for their phone. Uh, and you can go in the draw to enter win 5,000 rupees if you like our Facebook page and lots of little giveaways. We've got candies come from Australia to eat and uh, give away. They can, yes. Even if they're not thinking about coming now and it's just they want to get some ideas for the future, we encourage people to come. We're not there to sell you something and force people to go if it's not the right thing for them. So if they want information, we encourage them to come and ask. Yeah. And not just Australia, any other country, um, come and ask and we'll see if we can help. No, we, we are um, currently looking at other countries as well. And if someone comes to us and says they want to study in Canada or the US, so definitely we can have a look at the best options for them. Get started early. So even if you're thinking about it, it's a long process. If they haven't done their IELTS or PTE, they have to do classes and study for that have to get all their applications ready. So get started early, that's my biggest piece of advice. If they're unsure what they want to do, then have a chat to us. We can do career guidance counselling uh, and, and, or put them on a pathway course that can help them to decide. I, I think it's, uh, there's not a lot more to add. It's just uh, making sure that if anyone's interested, they come down and have a chat to us and we can answer all the questions there. Yep. And our location for office that uh, you can drop in and visit and have a chat to is at upstairs at Oscar restaurant in Panipokri opposite Mahindra.